Hello everyone, it's Carrie Bradford and today I'm going to show you how you can add your own word to this freedom circle shape. This was the free shape that we had during the 4th of July and I promised a video to show just how you can add your own word. You know the one that's there is currently says freedom but we can go ahead and add our own word. So what I'm going to do is first off I pulled up the DXF file from um, the, the set of free shapes. This one will work with either the standard edition or the designer edition. So whichever you're using, if you pull up the DXF file, then you can just be on the same page with the rest of us here. What I'm going to do is first I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to move this over to the side. Whoops, didn't grab it all. Grab that. And then I'm just going to, I'll go ahead and right click and I'm just going to group that together for the time being. And I'm going to move it over to the side. Now with this one, what we need to do is I'm going to just come in here and I am going to grab, let me make this a little bit bigger. I am going to grab this inner circle just so that I can have sort of a baseline to start with. Because um, we're going to use that as to add our text to um, the, the shape so that it will make that shape like the freedom does. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and then I'm going to press Control or Command C to copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and select all of that. And rather than group it together, I'm actually going to make it a compound path. And the reason for that is, is currently, if you notice, all of these are tiny little shapes. If we were to fill it all with color, it would just all become one solid blob of color. But by turning it into a compound path, I, d I chose right click and, and did the make compound path. Now what it says is, is when Silhouette looks at it, all these little things right here, it looks at it as a whole. So if I were to come in here and fill it with color, well, you would see it adds color to the entire shape. So I'm just going to go ahead and un undo that. So now when we add our word, it will look at these as, all as holes. And so when we weld it, it will do what it's supposed to do in, in making the cut the way that it's supposed to cut. So I'm going to just go ahead and zoom back out a little bit here. And next, what we want to do is we're going to um, press Control or Command F and that will copy that circle right where it was. And we want to make it a little bit bigger so that it's more along the lines of this outside, this next circle. So I'm going to come over here to my size window and I am going to just maybe try, let's click on lock aspect ratio. Let's just go up to 3.25 and click apply and you can see that almost gets there. Maybe let's do 3.35. Let's see here. And click apply. And now you can see it's just a little bit too big. So let's go to 3.3 and then say apply. Now that kind of gets it just about that right, that same size. Now what we want to do is we're going to come over here to our text tool and click on that and then just click in this space and we're going to type the word celebrate and then I'm going to click off of that and then click it again just so that it's highlighted this way and I'm going to use the font Bebe, Bebes Nue or however you say that I got it off of defont.com it's a free font it's a great font it's I love the the way this looks so I'm just going to go ahead and type in Bebe, oops, Bebes Nue okay so there we have it. So you can see it's a really great font. It looks very similar to the Freedom font that I had used uh, to actually make the shape with. So now what I want to do is this is where it can go a little funky. <laughs> when I was playing with this beforehand, it did some weird things. And so we might have to go with a plan B option. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this. See this little guy right here? This is so that you can take whatever you've typed in here and have it go along the path of a line. And in this case, we're going to have it go along the path of that circle. So I'm just going to go up there and click and drag it down. And this is what I'm talking about. See, it's it's just doing all sorts of wiggy, weird things. And so if you're just doing the same thing, then you're going to want to do what I, I'm going to do. And I'm just going to zoom out. And I'm going to click this circle and just move it out of here. Now before I move this over, I do happen to, I want to just double check and make sure the size that's going to occur between 
the two lines. If you can see the celebrate isn't quite big enough to, to reach both of those lines. So I'm going to go ahead and change my text size. I'm going to change it up to 80 points. And as you can see now, those letters touch the both both edges of the, the two inner circle lines. So I think that's going to work for us. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, zoom out a little bit here. And now watch what happens when I pull it over. It gives you a nice clean just a nice clean placement there. And I am just going through and just making sure it just kind of evens up around the green line. You can kind of look at the C and the E and kind of see make make it a little bit centered there. And that's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and click off of that. I think that's good. And now what I want to do is turn this into a compound path because currently this still is in a font form. And we want it to be, to have Silhouette look at it as an individual little shapes rather than a font that's editable and you can change constantly. So we're going to right click and choose Make Compound Path. Now Silhouette will see those as all just like shapes, like you would do a circle or a square. It's not editable in that font form anymore. And then so now we're just going to go ahead and line this up here. Let's zoom in. Maybe just a little bit more. And you can you just want to make sure that all of these are touching the lines above it and below it. And if you wanted to, you could center it. But I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here and just kind of get it up about that looks like that's about good there alrighty so now all we have to do is weld these all together so I'm just gonna select it all and I'm gonna just come down here I can either choose this little button here and choose weld or I can right click and choose weld here and as you can see it's brought it all together and if, if, if you want to you can just come in here we could release the compound path if you happen to have some of these extra little bits here, you could just come in here and delete those if it didn't quite, you know, match it up. And on the A, it looks like that one's going to be a part of that. We can even edit the points by double clicking on it. And we want to select it. And then we're going to say delete point. And that gets rid of that extra point. So you can go ahead and edit it without having to go and redo it all. It's like, oh darn it, it didn't all fit. You can manipulate it without having to go through all the effort of redoing it all over again. So now I'm just going to go ahead and select all of it. Let's make sure I have it all selected. I don't want that circle. Right click, choose make compound path, and voila, there you go. Just really easy to do and you can add any word you want. You can even add a name. It doesn't even have to be for the 4th of July. Just have fun with it. Okay, thanks for stopping by.